hold on, hold on. There are dig sites here. Now this is interesting. Really well stashed away. <laughs> Come on now. This could be good. Come on in. What have we got here? Okay, okay. This looks promising. A couple of grenades. There's got to be a gun in one of these. Yo, that'll do. That's certainly a lot better than that sack of shite. And there's a 40 clip, 30, uh, 30 round mag, 40 round mag, and a couple of 10, I think. What have we got here? Oh, yes, please. Look at that. Nails, 308s, more M4 stuff, more grenades, and a load of MBC gear. Oh, no, that's disappointing. I was expecting something uh, a little bit nicer there, like an LAR, possibly. I'm just checking to see if there's any more. Oh, there you go. There's one. We got here uh, buys and tape nails. Okay, let's uh, just double check. There's nothing else. So what's that? Five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six crates here. Well, I tell you what. Let's uh, let's leave whoever that is some gear. Lovely. Don't need a stick. I think we're good. I think we're good. Let's uh, get on back to uh, base. And uh, try and find a place to uh, stash some of this stuff away. And we're not going to stash it away in base. That is too obvious with a free uh, dial code lock on it. Too easy to break. Too easy to lose a load of gear. So we're going to uh, find a place about... 400 meters away from base and we are gonna create a couple of little stashes but before we do so let's just check out on our base from here the old hunting scope out you never know we may catch someone trying to break in and run over and deal with but no it looks all good looks all peaceful good news Okay, so we are now on for making some stashes. We do need to get some planks first, though. And we may as well do that while we're in... Uh, okay, we've got some crash coming in. We may as well do that while we're in uh, a bit of a... a bit of a covered area here. Chop a few trees down. And let's chop up a few planks. So, we now have, what have we got? Yeah, pretty much 20 planks. And now off to find a spot. Okay, this looks pretty good. By the river. We've dumped a couple of crates down. And we're just now going to fill all this up with some of our lovely gear. The good news is we've got enough grenades now to blow through that little base we found earlier on in the last episode so we'll be paying them a visit at some point I should imagine but for the meantime we must make sure that these are hidden well infantry sorted out and anything that we don't really need is stashed away a little bit of food in there okay we spent a bit of time finding that location we're now going to get rid of our uh, 80 grade backpack as we don't need it any longer our hunter's backpack blends in a hell of a lot better and we're just going to take a little look again it's been about 15 minutes since we last checked out base yeah, another quick little look just to make sure everything's still good over there we're a hell of a lot lighter now I've got a load more stamina which has helped us greatly. Okay, all looking nice. 
good, good. So, it's been 24 hours since we last actually attended our base. So, we are just heading back over that way now. Just to make sure everything is good as it appears from a distance. Just going to put our weapon out. as we cross the tracks always always look left and right here you never know what will be coming outside them tracks and you'll see that we are circling round from the left and this is my preferred option as it does give me a good sight on the front door here so there's the sheds and there's the sight of the door and the code lock or the gate and the code lock shall we say Hold on a minute, this is new. What do we have here? You see, this is why it's always, always interesting to uh, to make sure that you do have a good look around the whole perimeter of uh, your new home. Take the jam. I'm just checking to make sure no one is waiting for us in any of these. Get rid of what we don't need now. But that is interesting, that crate back there. Now that wasn't there the last time we were here, so that's quite recent. And what I should imagine, we're just checking to make sure that um, the gaps are still the same. So you can't get through any of those. What may have happened is someone may have broken that code. Um, cracked the code, that is. And um, just be using this as a, as a bit of a... A dumping spot possibly well some of this stuff will come in handy and we have got a little stash site nearby so we're just going to move this crate so we've just stashed away that crate we've just found and as you can see we've just run to our main stash site and we've just selected the four grenades that we had stashed away there we've also taken a sledgehammer from that crate we've just found as we've decided we are going to go and raid this base up in the shed near Copa Castle now we've contemplated raiding this base over the last 24 hours our main objectives are to ensure that we do have at least a decent alliance somewhere nearby or quite close to where we currently are homed up however so far in episode 1 We've run into what clearly was a bit of a trap over in Zlenengorsk where we uh, bumped into a male in the military site and then we discovered, having gone into the container uh, to, uh, to prepare ourselves, that he had a second oppo with him who was sniping from an elevated position. We managed to get out of that situation intact and as you'll see on the last episode, episode 2, we visited Copa Castle where we encountered two clear killers and there would have been no talking to them whatsoever. They'd already shown their intent to kill having already taken care of someone right next to their base and we saw the human remains. Therefore, my kind of risk assessment here is that there is absolutely no point in trying to engage in any kind of comms with these guys. Um, they are a threat. So, we're going to go and raid them. That was our decision. So, we're making our way up the river. And we've just seen this tree looking very out of place. Clearly chopped down. So, we're just going to scout the area out here. Now, this looks a little bit dodgy. There's quite a few trees, but it looks a bit cut down. And I'm thinking immediately here, there's no obvious base I can see. So there's got to be dig sites or something of the similar nearby. The only reason I'd do this myself is if I was trying to get planks in order to build crates. So we're just searching the area now and I would expect to see some... There you go, there you go, straight away dig sites. Okay, just need to make sure that we are as safe as we can be. So let's get this open and see what's inside. 
wonder how many there are. Okay, well this doesn't look great. There's, uh, <laughs> that's empty, but there are more. We're going to scout the rest of this shoreline in a minute. Hopefully we'll have a little bit more success. Come on. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Well, we're definitely taking the 308s, because when we finally get our hands on our blaze that we want, we're going to need that. We'll take that weapon for the time being, the Org. There's another one here. Come on now. Okay, okay, we don't need any of that. There's another one here. Given the fact that so many trees cut down, well, we don't need that. We'll take the uh, 30 round mag. There must be, there goes another one here. There may well be quite a few more. Uh, that's empty. Okay, okay. Oh, another one. LAR mag. We certainly won't use anything with those bullets in. So what's that now? Six. Alright, some buildings. So we'll take the nails and the sharpening stones. We're going to have to clean our tool up in a minute as well. Um, is that it? We'll check the rest of these trees nearby. Now, I mean, I'm thinking here that you would be burying... This is certainly what I'll be doing, burying those crates underneath these tree trunks, but uh, we better make sure our, uh, our weapon's ready. But that's not what this uh, this person's done. They've chopped the trees down, which straight away is an indication, and a very easy indication, very obvious indication that something's going on. There is no bases nearby that we can see. The trees are cut down in a very small area, so you're not going to want to walk or run miles with planks in your hand or with uh, logs because that's time consuming so the only possible explanation would be crates um, can't find any more now another great place to hide these crates will be in the river but it all depends how deep it is but he also may well have done the same over the other side so, I'll have a little chat. I don't think there's any more down this side of the river anywhere. Let's go and have a little look. Is there anything on this side? Doesn't look like it. And this is quite open, so uh, I fully understand not putting dig sites here. But there may be some down there. And maybe some crates dumped in the water. I think in that little gully there, I think it's deep enough to hide them so you won't see them. We may walk into a mega stash here. And again, we may. Oh, hold on, there is a crate. It's empty though. See, that there is a perfect hiding spot. Doesn't look as though there's anything else here. And then you get to the shallow bits where you cannot hide them under the water so uh, anymore anyway. So um, no, I think uh, area search complete and no further discoveries, I don't think. Oh well. So we've moved on a little bit further up the river. We are shivering a little bit. We need to... Um, drain out all the water off our clothing here so we're just preparing ourselves now because the base that we want to raid is not too far away and what we don't want to do is have any giveaway tell signs here sneezing and coughing nearby so we're just going to make sure that we've done all we can to dry ourselves off we'll probably pop a multi vit in a second yeah this all looks okay uh, fill up on a little bit of food so we're not going to have to worry about that as well. Now, this place is only about 500 metres away. And I kind of always make sure that we scout the place, that we're fully prepared, weapons fully loaded to the max. 
We've eaten enough, we've drunk enough. So we haven't got a mess about, or if we do, it's as little as possible when it really matters. We don't really need that gas mask right now either, so um, we'll look at dumping that again shortly. So there's Cobra Castle. And we're going to head around to the right. It's generally been quite a busy area. And we don't know if these guys are going to be here or not. Take another little look. The base is just through that little tree line there in this little town. Yeah, it looks all cute, but I have heard gunshots nearby a short time ago. And we're hoping to blow our way through. The four nades will cause a lot of damage. We haven't got a fifth nade at the moment, that would blow it wide open. Um, and then we'll try and use a sledgehammer. And maybe I'll hatch it to finish that off and uh, break the code lock. So we're leading with the gun we've just found in those dig sites, the AUG. And this looks all pretty cute. I think we're good, you know. We're going to sneak up to it, see if we can hear anything going on inside. There's also a few zombies nearby, so we do just need to be a little bit wary of that scenario. We don't want to be setting off anything we don't need to. And there's sheep in the background as well. I'm just going to go to the side of this hut. Make sure, yeah, I can't hear anything. Okay, so... We know what our plan is here, but we are going to dump off an item we don't need. We need to be able to have our hands free. So we're just making sure this is going to be the quickest possible route. Grenade in hand. We're going to drop three down, pull the pin on the fourth, and then go back to that tree. Should keep us safe. Okay, here's the fourth. So I'm going to pull the pin, whack it down, and let's see. Okay, so if anyone's within a 500 meter radius of here, they would have heard that. Hold on a minute, he hasn't got a code lock on. What have they done here? Uh, this is going to take some doing. <gasps> They've clearly taken the wire off here and turned it into a fence while they're away. Get rid of that, we don't need that. Let's start again with a hatchet. There's a little bit more damage done now. And that's why it's so important to have sharpening stones. Let's tidy up this tool. And then let's get back at it. Okay, so, yeah, this is going to be a pain in the arse now. Because the bottom end of the gate is still green, it's still held up well, and we're not going to have enough ammo, I don't think, to completely destroy that. We'll see where we go anyway. I've got a funny feeling we're going to have to find an alternative route into it.
Now we've made a lot of noise. A hell of a lot of noise here. Okay. We haven't been able to get through, so we've opted to go with one of my favourite types of raiding. My favourite type of uh, tactic this is. And it's going to be a tight fit here because we put the watchtower down and it's going to leave a little tiny gap on the top of the platform and we're going to hope that we can either crawl in or find an alternative way to get into um, this base. And once we're in, we'll then destroy that fence from the inside with our hatchet. But it looks promising. There's a car in there. There's quite a few crates in there. I think there's a barrel in there as well. So um, the only thing we need to be careful about right here, right now, is that we've made a lot of noise. And this is going to take a little bit of time to shift these logs over to build this watchtower. And anything can happen. There's a lot of people around. And there is fighting nearby, or there has been fighting nearby, on our way into Copa. We heard some uh, gunshots. It sounded like sniper shots, and they were only about five, six, seven hundred meters away. They weren't that far away. So, okay, we don't want any distractions. So we're going to take care of any zombie that gets anywhere near us. So any noise we do here while we're over at this front of the base, including if um, the owners return all of a sudden. We need to be very clear about any noises. We need to know exactly what that noise is, should there be any movement. And we need to be ready to respond. So we've left ourselves with only a few rounds, enough to kill one person. But it's not going to be enough to sustain a prolonged fight here. So we're kind of risking risking it all here on the, this working I just hope the gap we've left is enough for us to be able to crawl our way in if not we're gonna have to think about improvising but whatever happens we do not want to leave this the way we've left it at the moment because we've done all the hard work now we certainly don't want anyone else to come across and have a very easy raid on their hand if they've got one nade. Okay, time to get the planks. I generally have the planks set up well before we build Watchtower, but um, on this occasion we've opted to get straight in there and try and blow our way through, which hasn't worked. Okay. So, let's get a few more. 18 planks in total we're going to need for the stairs and the above platform. So we're just quietly getting on with that as quickly as possible. Whilst keeping an eye out as best we can in a kind of 360 perimeter. But it's not entirely easy. We'll deal with that later. So let's get these across. So there's the first 10. Okay, so we've nearly, we're nearly there. We'll get the next 10. We'll eat a little bit of food as well while we're there. Yeah, there you go. Just keeping things topped up. So we'll take a little bit of honey here. Our water's going down. I don't think honey gives us any water, but um, it will help us a little bit. So, have we left enough gap? Well, enough of a gap here. We're about to find out. I'm a little bit dubious about it. So I think the gap may be too small. If it is, we're going to have to reposition this watchtower slightly. So there's the floor, and here come the stairs, even this makes quite a bit of noise, 
Okay, moment of truth. Let's get those uh, those nails recovered. And let's take a little... Uh, no, we ain't getting through that. Okay, so we had to dismantle what we built. And we're moving it a little bit further away. And this is time consuming now. We've been here longer than what we would initially want. But we've manoeuvred everything really close. So it's going to be a very quick build now. Or very quick rebuild. But I still don't know if... I'm going to be able to crawl through this. So we will try it first. And if not, we may have to improvise a little bit. It's all about angles. Come on then, let's go. So there's the floor. Stairs. Come on now. Okay, second time lucky. Now there's a big enough gap, but are we going to fall straight down or are we going to land inside? Just get some little angle on there. Okay, so we're not in. I, I think we can get in there though. I'm pretty confident we can definitely get in. Let's try a roll. Oh, do you know what? We were close. But not quite. I wonder if a double roll will help. Oh, that jump we'll try that. We're, oh, we, we're right in as well look we're half in half out and it throws us out okay I reckon a double roll will get us in there but we need the right angle let's get right on the edge come on now and again and again oh, I think we're in we're in yeah oh, we're in okay so let's dismantle this as quickly as possible because right now we ain't getting out otherwise Okay, so there's a barrel, some guns over there as well, it looks like an SK. Okay, we are going to need to dismantle this if we've got any hope of getting out of here. Especially if we're going to drive away with that car. have to wait and see if they've left um, all of the pieces, the spark plug, the battery, and hopefully they've left the radiator. Okay. So, just taking care of the basics. Here comes the floor off. We'll quickly take up. We'll recover some nails. Okay, so there's a gun shop nearby. We haven't got time to mess about it. We need to be pretty quick. So let's straight away get up these um, watchtower base. Let's get rid of that. Okay. Right, let's go and see what there is in here. There's quite a few crates here. We don't need the 74. There's a blaze. We have a... Look at all that ammo. Nice, nice. What else we got? Look at those nails. These boys were serious about building something, weren't they? Well, we've just taken away their whole means of doing so. We're going to take all of those nails. That will help fortify our, uh, our new home. We're only after the bits that we're going to need. The bits that help us. And we are short on water, so let's just quickly fill ourselves up with water. I'll check the barrel out. Check the car out. I reckon that car's going to be full, you know. What are the chances of them having a decent weapon in there? Okay, we don't need that anymore. We'll take what else do we need? To, yeah. Give ourselves a few more of those. Okay. So we're pretty full right now. And we finally got our four code. That will help us back at our home. Yeah, we're not I don't even need that. Don't even want that to be fair. Happy with the gun we've got. Um with a blaze. That is our main weapon right now. So let's check the barrel out. Okay, so let's scope Mosin. They've got a scoped SK. Now here's the big one. What have we got? Oh, there's not a lot in here. There's a tent. So battery's half done. There's nothing in nothing in both crates. There are a couple of tents in there. Let's get these crates out of here. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll take the crates full of ammo. 
dump him in a car. And the weapons, the only one we're really going to take is that. The rest of them we don't really need. It's definitely don't need the Vega. I'm not going to bother the Mosin now. We've got our Blaze. Uh, yeah, we take that. We're not going to use the 74, but it could be a good defending, base defending weapon, possibly. But we are going to take... Which one is it? There you go. We're definitely going to take the ammo. So let's get that in. And you know what? We don't really need anything else there. We'll leave the rest. Let's get this car out of here. We're going to dump the car off. Not too far away from base. The engine lights on, so I'm going to have to put some water in that. Uh, in the radiator by the looks of it. Battery and spark plug are fine. Bit of an angle, but we'll... Uh, We'll manoeuvre that. Come on now. I'm not going to take the barrel. Here we go. We'll go straight back out. And we are going to go to our right hand side. We'll use the dirt paths to get out of here. A little bit of steam coming off the engine, so we are going to need to fill up the water shortly. Okay, so we've dumped the car off. Um, we are now running back to base with a... Oh, Jesus. Okay, so there is contact left. That's pretty close as well. Let's just settle things down. Make sure we're good. Make sure that we have got enough ammo in that mag. Just in case we end up getting into something here. That is literally just over the hill to the left. You need to be a little bit careful here. So we've got two options. We can either engage, which we are full right now. Our stamina is not great. That's not really going to be much of an option. Or we're going to do option B, which is what um, I'm going to do. And that is get down to that, um, that water line, use the natural coverage, and skirt along back to base. Yeah, blaze is doubly loaded, so we're good on that front as well. Should we need to quickly dump that off? Can we make a little bit more room? Not really. Okay, let's go. So natural cover, we're okay for the time being. The gunshots are over the other side of that hill on the left. So unless uh, whoever they are or he is, they are, unless they come over, we're going to be okay. So we've moved about two, three hundred meters down river now. Uh, everything's gone quiet. No more engagement at all. So we're just filling up on a little bit of vitals, a bit of food, a bit of water. We might as well make the most of this little pit stop here. Let's fill ourselves up. And make the run for it. Okay, I think we're good. Yeah, we're looking okay. Boots are okay. Can we make any more room here in the infantry? It's only going to be small gains, but anything's better than nothing right now. It's not going to make any difference to our stamina. Might as well take care of this while we're hidden away in a bush. Big old bright moon out tonight. Okay, we're good, I think. Uh, let's get rid of that, we don't need that. We'll fill that mag up. That gives us a little bit more room. Not much, but it's something. Okay. Let's get on our way. 
Now there is a little town just up on the right hand side here as well. And we don't really want to be engaging in anything up there either. Okay, so we've made it back to our stash site. And there's, there's another gunfight kicking off elsewhere, you can vaguely hear in the background. So we are just going to dump off as much of this gear as we possibly can. Separate, separating it out into kind of boxes of interest, what needs to go in what box. Make it look a bit neater. Certainly going to be alright for ammo for a while now. And the great news is there's another gunshot, but it's in the distance, that's about a thousand, two thousand meters away, so we haven't got anything to worry about really. Well. Grab some more water down us. And the great news is we've got that four dial code lock at last, we've been looking for that since day one, and we've finally got it now, so um, we can go and change our three dial. Okay, so we are now not far away from our home. And again, we've veered round to the left, circled round to the left. Over the train track, we're good, both sides. And what we're going to have to do is, because the tent is not going to fit in that little house of ours, so what we will do is we'll set the there's another gunshot nearby. We'll set the code lock up to the uh, code we're going to use. We'll whack it on. We'll come away. We'll stash the tent. I think we'll put the tent in the little stash we've got outside of our home here. Make sure no one's at the gate. No, we're good. I think. Just double check the surrounding buildings in case anyone's camping it. Gonna close that up. Close that up. Let's get inside. See so if there's any telltale signs that anyone's actually cracked the code and, uh, and left anything behind. No, we're good. We're all good. Okay, so we can shut the door up. We will now slap on four dial code, make that nice and secure, there we go, and let's now go and stash this tent away, oh look at that, another box of nails, when you don't need them, you're going to find them, and when, uh, sorry, when you do need them, you're going to, no, that's, that's even wrong, isn't it? when you don't need them, you definitely find them, when you do need them, they're never about, we've got loads, loads and loads of nails now. So we could really fortify that up shortly. Okay, let's get to our little stash. There's only a couple of crates here at this one. The tent fits nicely. We may as well keep the free dial for the time being. Uh, we're going to change our top as well. So we've got a full matching suit. Yeah, good. So we can get rid of the bear trap for the time being. That will come in handy at a later time. We're doing okay. We're doing alright. Slowly building up our little empire now. And we're on, our, we're on definitely on target to uh, striving to um, succeed here. Okay, let's fill up with water. We're going to have to clean this. So we've now got a fresh, clean bottle of water, canteen of water. And we are going to go over to this hunting stand that we've been using quite effectively. And we're just going to keep an eye on the base from here, get our head down for the night. <laughs> 